Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. It's a Monday morning in case you weren't aware. But here's a question for you. How did you spend your 67 minutes for Mandela Day this past weekend? Well, our lovely Ilana was fortunate to spend it in Nelson Mandela's hometown of Gunu along with other SABC personalities. And here's a taste of what they got up to. Hello, I am Cabello from Mikasi Sukasi on SABC One, and right now we are at the Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital to visit some of the kids, and we are later on going to paint the school. 67 minutes, Bimo Madiba. Tumelani, my name is Nkokeli Oros Mampofu. I am from Skim Sam Uchamakekana, and today we are at the Academic Hospital looking to touch some children's lives, and then further on we're going to be at the Tandogazi Primary School affecting people at Kuni. We have partnered our foundation, the Africa Rising Foundation with the Nelson Mandela Museum, as well as the um, My School Foundation, which is Woolworths Foundation. And this is how this whole initiative came together. So we're very happy to be here and to you know, show the rest of the world that Mandela is all about coming together and giving back to your community. Okay. I am Daba Mandela and you're watching Espresso. Thank you very much there, Mr. Ndaba Mandela. And as you can see also in these lovely pictures, our Ilana, our boo-boo was there as well, getting involved, getting dirty with paintbrushes and all. And in fact, we've actually got her on the line right now. Good morning, boo-boo. Morning, boo-boo-licious. How are you? <laughs> lacquered, lacquered. How was your weekend? You know what? My weekend was incredible. I never thought that I would have the opportunity to pack up literally for two days yeah. and head to Kunu. Uh, we arrived there on Friday and we immediately got our hands dirty and started painting the Tandokazi School. It's a primary school for learners who, I must say, are so special, Katleho. You know, everybody, uh, SABC 1, SABC 2, and SABC 3 personalities rocked up there. Uh, we got our hands dirty, not just at the school, but we decided to take a tour of Kunu to just see where our former president lived, where he resided. We visited his home. Uh, we saw from afar where he is resting at the moment. Mm. And also, uh, we headed to the museum that is on Kunu that uh, just tells his whole life story. It was really amazing. I think what stood out for me was when we got to the academic hospital where we met some of the children who are in the hospital. I was very, very emotional and also very impressed that um, his eldest grandson, Ndaba Mandela, he mm. was leading the party to not just transform some of the wards, but also to visit these kids who probably doesn't have a whole lot of people visiting them. Yeah. It was a very, very special weekend. Yeah. Mm. Ilana, what was the best part for you of being there? The best part was getting there. Mm. You know, I, I must say... You, growing up when you give, because I always believe that giving is a must. I mean, my mission in life is to have positive thoughts and to give charity. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You just never think that it's going to escalate in such a way where you go where one of your, your international heroes and local heroes have, have been born. Yeah. I, I must say, you know, you would imagine that Tata Madiba comes from Kunu, so people always look out for them, right? But when you go back to Kunu, it's a rural town and people are poor. They have nothing. And so the best part for me was giving back and also knowing that even kids from Kunu can become someone or something and change the world for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think we, we, we're very, very proud of the fact that you got involved then. You can work a paintbrush, eh? We need some paint jobs done here in the <laughs> studio, so, you know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>